Hello and welcome to another Harsh Noise Gear Review. I am here today with the Electro Lobotomy Hadron Collider. It looks like the knobs emoji. It's got four knobs, four switches, a power, and a uh, quarter inch out. Uh, I'm gonna, today I'm going to go over the features of this thing. I'm going to run it through a bunch of pedals, and then I'm going to try doing something funky with it. Um, what we're going to do is first the features. Uh, it's got four knobs, four switches. The, these two knobs are one oscillator, two oscillators, uh, the pitches of the oscillators. This knob is a power starve, this knob is a power choke, and I'll go over the difference between that. And then the other switches are three-way oscillator feedback, oscillator mode, oscillator range switches. It's not really important which one's which because they all kind of change up the sound. They all kind of do fun things except for this top one. The middle is mute and the um, up and down are uh, on in different ways. Um, but the middle is mute and that's what I have right now because this thing is loud even when I have it turned down in the mixer because it is a loud synth. Um, let's put it up at, ma at full power and we're gonna give it a listen just raw by itself, no effects and um, let's go to listen. Now I'm going to try the uh, power choke, power starve, and power choke. Power choke doesn't work until the starve is engaged, so check it out. Nothing. But once we start to starve it... Then the choke does cool stuff. So basically what the power starve is doing is it is draining the 9 volt and it's attenuating the 9 volt down to lesser and lesser and lesser and lesser volts. And what the choke is doing is stopping that power from coming through with a like a kind of a resistor that only lets a certain amount through as far as I understand it. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know the exact circuitry, but it kind of chokes out that. So the combination of these two creates really cool... Um, stuttering power randomized kind of effects because the two oscillators are fighting for space because they're pushing so you get interesting dissonances um and then the power starve drains the oscillators so they don't work at optimum power which is how you get them these nice even tones Gorgeous, right? Yeah, so. And something you're probably noticing is, wow, that volume went down too. And that's because all power starve, all power starve things kind of have uh, volume when you starve them. If you recall my previous video where I talked about power starve in general and demonstrated this power starve attenuator device, um, you'll know that volume goes down in the easiest way in the noise instrument world to keep your volume level to keep your volume even when you're using a power star of synth is to hit it with some distortion some gain some fuzz um because that turns that quiet sound So let's keep listening to the starve and choke without distortion. Wow. 
So you get some really cool effects switching between the modes. But let's listen to this stuff with distortion. It's going to sound totally different. That's barely letting, like, anything through. Yeah, let's try it with some other stuff. That's fun, getting like that real... Very fun, very fun, okay. The last thing I want to do, so I kind of demonstrated how it works. It's re it's a really simple device. It's really heavy duty. It's really well made. It's super simple for like great for like slow experimental stuff or just whiling out super fast because like. As you can see, it's really easy to just kind of while out on. Um, the what something I want to show is uh, something cool I discovered. That's a really fun patch to do. That's really simple, and all you need is a splitter and a contact microphone. Um, you can get a, any kind of splitter works. I'm using this kind, which is like a stereo. It doesn't really matter. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my power starved synth and my contact microphone as my input before my distortion. So what's happening here is the contact microphone and the synthesizer are going to be fighting for space. So right now 
you hear the microphone the most, but we're going to uh, turn on, and you're, you're not getting any feedback right now because um, I'm not using, let me, let me turn on my amp. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. So, uh, but you're mostly getting the contact microphone, but let's turn on the synth. effect that the contact mic, if the contact mic is strong enough, and the um, synth, the power starve, when it is power starved, it lets through the signal, because the signals are fighting for space, and then the distortion picks them both up and boosts them and has them fight for space in the, uh, in the sound. Now, let's, um, let's give it a little bit of audio so we can get some feedback, a little bit of speaker. get the picture I'm uh I'm just overdoing it now because it's fun um so check out uh Electro Lobotomy the Hadron Collider great noise synth they make a lot of other really good noise synths too but this is the one that I have it's super simple lots of fun um great starter power starve synth with power starve built in uh, I think they sell for around a hundred bucks um on Electro Lobotomy's website uh, or their Etsy um, check them out, and also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more Harsh Noise Gear Reviews, which I might actually start doing more of. Again, thank you so much for tuning in.